Okay, so, g'day, welcome back to How to Collect Junk. So today we have a lot of coins, which a lot of people would actually class junk. And what we have is uh, Hong Kong coins. Someone kept them in this, you know, 1980, first year of issue. Uh, we're extremely fine. Yeah, probably $2, uh, I would say. Yeah, probably about 4 or $5 these days. Looks pretty old. 1987 EF. No, I'm going to say it's probably almost uncirculated. And they've cut off the price, but it looks like um, maybe $2 again. Okay, another one. Another 1987. And the writing actually looks nice. Although they've got a capital, a small letter, two capitals, and two small letters. And the last one is a 1986 Hong Kong, and they've cut that, uh, which is a bit sad. So these coins, they're the same size as the current Hong Kong coins, which current Hong Kong coins had the penny of flower. So with these ones, I just pick them out and take them back to Hong Kong to spend them, which I'll be doing in yeah sometime anyway. Uh, I'm not going to say when I'm going. Someone will break into my house and steal everything. Like, haha. <laughs> but, I prefer not to keep these at home. Okay, so, what we have here, we have mostly still monetized coins. Okay, so, all these coins, these are current 20 cents of Hong Kong. You can still get these, although the 10 and 20 cents really not not used quite often so pick those out and uh, just no point keeping them got the 50 cent as well and it should be a 10 cent yes a 10 cent so the last year of mintage of these is 2017 and uh these ones are just fairly common just really worth face fee but as you can see most of these are the older version with uh the Monarchs, the coin list with the second, is 50 cent. And some of them are actually the demonetized coins. So here's a, a larger 10 cent from 958 with the, I think it's Mary Gillick effigy or coin list with the second, so colonial effigy. So these ones are demonetized. And here we have the smaller 10 cent coin, which was first issued in 1982. So these ones are still legal tender, these ones are not. Although these ones are pretty much being pulled from circulation. Okay, so let's go through the coins and uh, see what... I'll do the silver coins first. Looks like there's not that many. Most of them are the $1 coin. So with the $1 coins, we have 1987. So, yeah, this one's not worth keeping unless it's an error coin. Uh, so pretty much put those aside and just take them back. See, 1979, pretty poor grade. Probably just go and spin that as well. 80, so I think 1978 was the first year of issue. 79, 80 had a... Pretty much like a hundred million coins they issued each. Uh, so what we're looking for is just errors, high grade coins, and uh, that's about it. Pretty much, there is no real live mintage coin. Although these were never kept in, or they never issued uncirculated coin sets. So we have uh, high grade coins are hard to get. Okay, 89, 78, 9 and 80. That side looks pretty good, but the other side looks pretty bad. So as you can see, most of them are 70s, 89 again. And the last year of issue, okay, 97. Of, of these ones, um, with the Queen, I think these are 92. So, yeah, nothing really worth keeping there. 
and another 1980. Okay, so the other silver coin that I tossed before was uh, this coin. And these were replaced by the bronze coin in 1977. So it's a large copper nickel, smaller coin. This one's still legal tender, this one is not. So as you can see, this has security rated. This one's just milling and also the effigy is a bit different. So let's go to the other coins. So you can see that the two dollar here's another one dollar. The two dollar is scallop shape. So this one's in pretty good condition. 1981. 82. And these circulate along the Bahania coins. Up until 1997 when they start to be removed from circulation after their handover. Okay, and the first year of issue of these is 1975. So these coins are pretty much as old as me. And here we have the current coin, which I'm not going to keep. And the older coin. So the Bahania flower doesn't have any errors. Usually the flower is doubled on some issues, especially 2003. Okay, so... And then we have, oh, we've got three $5 coins. So here's the larger $1 coin, first issue 1960, and replaced in 1978. So this one looks like it's been cleaned, scratched. Does that have the mint mark? No. And here we have the 1972. Okay, you can see the differences in that. In the 1970s, they just issued a reader coin, not security reading. Then we have the current $5, 1993. Pretty common, not really worth keeping that. The good thing about these is that the side is $5. Hong Kong, $5 in English and Chinese. So 1980, $5 coin. And this one is also the current version. So last year mintage of these coins is 2019. So look for doubling on the actual lettering. So there yeah, the two five dollars. Bahania won't worry about keeping. And let me just separate all these coins into the denominations. Okay, so I've sorted the coins. I have the large 10 cent coins, 5 cent coins. You have the 20 cent coins, 50 cent, and the smaller 10 cent coins. And basically, when you go through these coins, this is what you were looking for. So for the 5 cent, 1964, that's the most valuable coin you're going to find. Uh, because we don't know, not many were actually minted. 1980, yeah, a lot were minted, but most were not issued. I think some of the 1980 coins have escaped 10 cent. Uh, 95663 with reading, not the security reading. 1980, none issued. 20 cent, nothing really special except the 1988, which are they issued only in proof sets and uncirculated sets. 50 cent, 1958 readed, so that's the copper nickel coin. And 975, not too sure on that one. Okay, the $1, 1960 readed, so not security reading. So uh, here we have, okay, so basically we're looking for early date coins. So this is security reading and this is just reading. So we're looking for early date coins, but with this type of reading. Okay, so basically that's what that is. Okay, 1993 nickel plated steel. Uh, that's the... This coin nickel plated still, but obviously there's none there. Uh, 1978 for the two dollars and five dollars, uh, pretty much none. And the ten dollar coins, well, there's none in here, but as far as I know, 96 is what you want, and also 1993, which is only issued in sets. Okay, so uh, the first coin that we have, which I don't have in my collection, this is poor grade, is a 10 cent from 1936. Hasn't seen that much circulation based on the effigy, but it's kept in poor condition. This is just a base metal. Uh, I think it's nickel or copper nickel, but you know, it's just a keeper. Okay, so 
what we're looking for in the 20 cent coins which i do like is a 1988 so all the rest of these should be quite common coins and basically you can just separate them by effigy at the start so uh 77 80 1980 again and these ones you can still spend it's legal tender and also check for rotations and these are bronze coins but because of the scallop shape it's less likely that these are going to be uh rotated okay looks like all of these are going to be pretty much 70s okay 985 in pretty good condition now i remember in the 1980s uh my auntie or not my actual auntie but my brother's auntie yes he's a half brother i don't give a shit it's just a brother to me uh yeah she went over to hong kong and she uh was giving me shit about coins because i like the actual coins hong kong coins and she brought a bunch of these coins back that was in the 80s in the british section okay 75 yes yeah, so 76 and the first year of issue was these coins in 1975 this one's in pretty good condition and sometimes i do get them in hong kong okay 1978 so no no 1988 so that goes with those ones okay 50 cent coin 1958 but so i only got two 1971 so nothing really special there 68 and uh, these ones are demonetized but with these coins pretty much all of these you know nothing really special okay 1980 and they only issued 70 so fish you issue 77 78 79 and 80 and then they stopped issuing in 2990 so this one's self pretty good actually for about five bucks uh, it's still i think it's like 27 million also check for rotations as well rotations occur on any currency any time period uh, and it doesn't matter if it's coin or metal rotated so these are all coin rotated unlike some other currencies do i have a should have a metal rot coin rotated somewhere oh yeah mexico mexico so this one is that's coin rotated according because we use starting to use a lot of the american terminology so you flip it that way to get the same side okay so 77 okay so here's the current coin 94, not really worth keeping that one. 1980, pretty good condition. 19, see, there's about 100 million of these minted, so not surprising you're going to get quite a few in good condition. Okay, and this one's seen a lot of circulation, so not really worth keeping that. And I think most of these I'll just take back to spend in Hong Kong. So it's interesting. What can I do in Hong Kong this time? My wife wants to go to Shanghai. But no, I don't mind just staying in Hong Kong and just going around and uh, doing stuff over there, especially going to Sai Kung and going to the Lion Park, which has a geological feature, which I'll make a video on when I go there next time. Okay, 97. Last year, vintage of this 50 cent coin is no, 2017. This is this is an exchange rate roughly about ten cents. So there's nothing in that ten cent. Then we have the smaller ten cents in which well there's nothing really special. Okay, but we just go through them. Let's see what else you can actually find. 82. Oh, they're too small. So this is a first year issue. Uh, 
So most of these Queen Elizabeth ones are probably going to be 82. That should have the massive issue. Although I don't think the, there is a mintage figure for these. Nine and ninety. Well, they quite well damaged. So what you're looking for in these ones is pretty much just. Oh, my skin's damaged. Damn. Okay, is just an error coins. I oh, know some people are going to say clean your nails. Uh, yeah, well I do gardening. Well, my job is uh to actually look after soil. So it's. I would just say it dries out my hands, so it reduces oil. Oh, 1988. That uh, double eight looks a bit weird. It so uh, reduces uh oil. Okay, so here's a current coin. I'm not going to keep that. Okay, so uh, 1987. It's an error. Doubling on the rim, but you now that's pretty common on coins from around the world. Okay, this one's probably lost somewhere. Someone's picked it up. And when you go to Hong Kong, I think you do see uh, 10 cent coins. People drop them on the ground. And other people just don't even bother picking it up. You can pick up a 100 of them. It's still... Only ten dollars, which is like two Australian dollars. Uh, is it really worth it when you can actually just start a business, spend your time earning that two dollars? Okay. Yes, yeah, so the coinage these days is really no value in it. Okay, ninety four, eighty seven, eighty two. And as you can see, the effigy is Queen Elizabeth II. And this side has a big 10 to separate it from uh, the previous 10 cents. Which, yeah, this is a coin that it replaced. Hmm. Well circulated. I see there's not too many of them from the 1990s, which is really makes me sad. Okay, 87. If that was more off center, it would be actually worth something. Bronze disease, but not worth separating of other coins because uh, no, these are not really worth much. Okay, 80. 95. Okay, so nothing there. Wasn't expecting to find anything anyway. Okay, so we do the large 10 cent coins. So the first thing you'll notice is that some are readed, some are security readed, and that's pretty normal. So what we're looking for is readed coins 956, 63, and pretty much from 1972 to 1979, these were readed. And also 1980. So let's go. Okay, read it 75, 64. Look at that, that's corrosion. 79, security readed. 72, is that rotated? Oh, it's slightly rotated, so I'll keep that one separated. Sixty-four. Pretty much any of them before the sixties, you want to see if it's uh, read or security readed, because it could be unknown. 
errors or varieties that you haven't found. 79 last year of issue. And this one is uh, in pretty good condition. I'm not surprised, I think there's about 100 million of them minted. Okay, 61. And really, I sell these in bulk for probably about $10 for like 10 coins. 74, in pretty good condition. Okay, people like to get them for some reason. Uh, some people actually put them in jewelry. Oh, okay. I'm not opposed to that, they're just a pretty common coin. And if you can increase the value of these by doing some artwork, then why not? 74, and also you want to see if these old later coins. Uh, that rotated these later coins they're supposed to have reading have security reading so that's also another thing okay 63 what do we got security reading damn warning warning Thunder, rainstorm, thunder, more rain. Okay, 63. No. So as you can see, it's actually getting quite thin, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone just forgot to put the colour in for the actual security, or they put a different colour in that was not supposed to be there. And that's why you've only got readed. Okay, so also look for these ones, 70s with uh, security reading. You never, never know if you never, never go to the toilet. Just Lila. These have probably been fished out before by the person I purchased them off. Although, I'm not too sure. This video is becoming quite a long video, but I don't care. Just click off it if you don't like, and then you can go and dig a hole in the backyard and bury your pet dog. Okay. No, George the Six, which makes me very sad. He will be rolling in his grave saying, Glenn, you're supposed to dig me up. I don't know what in 80 as well, but, you know. Okay, so that's it. And that is it. So, the last denomination, which is also the smallest, is the five cent coin. And we're looking for two 1980 and 1964. So, 1964 is the, would be more valuable. And here we have oh King George VI version, but not the one that we want. And also later versions with uh, I know mismatched security reading and reading. Okay, security reading on in sixty seven. Nineteen fifty. Nineteen forty nine. Yeah, it's in pretty good condition. Nineteen forty nine. Sixty five. Nineteen fifty eight. Oops. Nineteen seventy one in pretty good condition. Hmm. Another 1971 in less condition, so you can see the toning it develops in these coins. Seventy-two. Come on. Nineteen sixty-four. Nineteen sixty-three. Honestly, I've never seen a 1964, not even on the internet. 1960. Uh, which makes me 
think if they do exist, they probably only sell on premium 63, premium selling sites. Seems on 9 and 63, uncirculated seems to be the most common. So that's basically it. 25 minutes of fun in the sun when you rub your bum. Okay, so hope this helps you with your coins. Uh, what you can actually look for in Hong Kong coins uh, because they are interesting. I have a personal interest in it. So let me know which coins you actually favourite. Uh, the 20 cents are my favourite and of course the actual design and shape. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope it wasn't coin magnet collecting time. Just remember, do drugs. <laughs>